Hi gardeners, it's Miss Chrissy. I am in the Benham garden. I just wanted to give you an update on some of the plants that are growing and you can see what progress we've made over the last couple of weeks. I, I've been out here a bunch, but I haven't done a lot of video just for time's sake. So here we go. Okay, so if you watched any of our strawberry videos, you'll know that we put in four new planters this year in order to start a new perennial strawberry garden. And you'll see that they are doing really well. We've got some, a lot of leaves on these plants. They're getting quite large. And if you zoom in and look at them, they have a number of shoots on them with flowers or already the beginnings of small strawberries. So over here um, on this one, you can see that there's already a little strawberry growing. So I'm very excited to keep watching these over the next couple of weeks to see how these um, fruits grow and start to ripen. So the mint is, as always, just taking over everything. So there's a ton of mint in the background there. Um, our raspberry bushes are pretty much um, died back in the middle, but they are over there on the right hand side by the shed. And then over here on the left, we have some, some raspberries, but uh, mainly it's blackberries and mint. Just the other day, I got some seedlings from our Native Community Organic Farm. So here I have some sunflowers and a lot of kale. Um, I had tried to do the beans and peas earlier by seed, but unfortunately I think that with all of the students gone right now, um, some of the critters are getting a little bit um, less afraid of being out here. So usually we don't have a problem with rabbits and chipmunks and things eating our food. Um, but unfortunately this year they kind of wiped out the beans and the peas. You'll see there's still a few in there, but they're, uh, they've been mowed down. So instead I put in some lettuce here, maybe some of those peas will grow, but um, not, we're not gonna have a big harvest of those this year. Um, I thought it would be easier just to put in a bunch of flowers and honestly, it'll be nice and pretty this summer. So I've got a ton of um, Autumn Beauty sunflowers. We've got some calendula and we have some zinnias in the front. One of the things I'm really excited about is the potato beds. Um, you'll see that the potatoes are coming up very nicely. It took a while, but they're now coming up. In the back here, we've got a ton of wildflowers growing. So these are gonna have to be thinned out at some point, but I'm glad to see there's at least some green back here. And then over here, uh, we showed this in our pollinator problem video, but our butterfly garden is coming back very nicely this year. We have got a lot of nectar plants coming in, a lot of Leatrice, Aster, Echinacea. Um, we also have a good amount of milkweed already getting quite large, which would be great for our larvae when they come in. Um, we've got some grasses and again, just a lot of nectar plants for all of our pollinators, but specifically those monarch butterflies that are going to be coming in soon. So that's our garden and how it's growing. And stay tuned and see what else is popping up over the next couple of weeks. And then in a couple months when we start to harvest, I'll let you know. Stay tuned and see you soon.